In today's video, I'll be teaching you guys on how to download and set up user emulator after they got shut down by Nintendo. I've already created this video before, but I feel like recreating the video again. I mean, in today's video, I'll explain more details. And when you, when you look here, I have the latest version of user assets, which is version 4156. Not only that, I managed to grab the last 8 build of Yuzu emulator before they shut down or before they deleted everything from the internet. At the end of this video, you will be able to get your hands on the last 8 build of Yuzu emulator. I will guide you through the installation process. I will make sure that you won't face any error when installing the emulator. So you have to watch full video as the downloaded file contains password. I'll, I'll give you the password i'll give you the password so you you need to watch full video so that you won't make any errors so without much ado let's get into the installation process okay so um now let's continue with the installation process before that you have to get i mean before you can install the emulator on your pc first of all i'll provide the download link under the video description so you have to open the link after opening the link it will take it will take you to a page like this which says use your emulators achieve these are the are the last eight build that i had before they deleted i mean i combined them and zip them so you, you have to download these emulators so either you click this one or you download it from this one so download the emulator and after you are done with the downloading of the emulator you should see something like this use your emulators achieve so this one is going to be our emulators because when you extract this file you will see more emulators inside i think they are like eight or so the last eight built so um you will need to extract this and also you have to now please note before you can install any switch emulator you will need firmware and product keys with that one i can't teach you how to or i can't tell you where to get them but i think you should find it on your own so you will need firmware and also the product keys and please make sure your firmware version matches with your product keys version so get get them now after getting the necessary files when you look at these three files over here two of them are in zip format and one one is in raw format so meaning you will need to extract these files and to extract files like this we can use a program called or we can use a program like 7-zip or winrar but for the sake of this tutorial i'll be using winrar so head over to um, the official website of winrar and then download the 64-bit version of the WinRAR. So download the WinRAR because this program will be needed in extracting the software. So after getting your hands on the WinRAR, after getting your hands on the WinRAR, you should see the program like this. So let's install the program. Double click it and then select yes to install. Press install. And then press OK. Okay, so we are done with the installation of the WinRAR. Now we are ready to, you know, extract our files. So first of all, let's extract the firmware. This is the firmware. So let's extract it. To do that, right-click it, and then using WinRAR, select select extract to so this 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 thing this thing over here. Select this one okay so uh, we are done with the extraction now let's do the same thing to the product keys right click select remora and then select extract to product keys okay so we are done with the extraction of both winra and the product keys now it's left with the emulators that we downloaded 
so this is the emulator that we downloaded so we have to extract this emulator and to do that just right click it and then do it as we did to the first two select this one which is extract to use emulators achieve luigi's play slash um, select this one now it is password protected i'll tell you the password so um you need to enter the password i'll provide you the password so don't worry so you will need to enter the password after after you done entering the password just press on okay and wait for it to finish okay so we are done with the extraction of the emulator so let's open the folder okay now we've opened the folder when you look inside we can see the aliases like its build of the aliases which is one two three four five six seven eight so these are the last eight build i managed to save after they deleted everything on the internet so these are the last eight build of the use uh, of the user emulator user aliases emulator i managed to save so from here you can choose the one you prefer or the one you like you can go with the aliases version 4045 but for the sake of this tutorial i'll be i'll be going with the last latest version before they got shut down so i'll be going with this one which is version 4156 so um this one too is in zip format so we, we will need to extract this file to do that right click and then using winra select the third one which is extract to windows user select this one okay so this is the extracted folder so this is the file open it open it you should see the emulator setup or the emulator program runner here just open it okay here it says encryption keys are missing what this simply means is that it is asking us to install the keys the prod the prod keys before we continue so to do that just press on ok just press here select no and then head over to the two session and then under the option that says install decryption keys so two session and then select install decryption keys select this one and then here remember we extracted both the firmware and the product keys so head over to the folder that contains your product keys so in this manner my product keys are located inside desktop and then inside the folder called tutorial here we can see firmware product keys and the emulator that we downloaded what's what we need is the product keys so what what we need is this this thing so the product keys so we open it and then we double click this boom we are done here it says decryption keys were successfully installed just press ok now what's left next is to install our firmware and to do that head to the tools session and then this time around select install firmware select this one which is install firmware and this one to locate the folder locate the folder that contains your extracted firmware files so um they are located inside 
desktop and then tutorial this is the firmware that we extracted so this is the folder we open it and then we select this one we see select folder now it is installed wait for it to f finish so it is installing okay so we are done installing both the product keys and the firmware and when you look down here it says 18.0.0 this simply means that the firmware and the product keys that we've installed are version 18.0.0 now when you look when you look here there is not there is nothing here and we need our games to appear over here over this place we need our games to appear over here so what we are going to do is just double click this yellow yellow icon this yellow thing yellow folder here just double click it and then select the folder that contains your switch roms so you select your games folder and then you select this one we say select folder okay so now my games are showing this these are the games but the, these are not all S some of my games are in subfolders so to show subfolders games just head to this place and then right click select scan subfolders now all my games are showing so um we are done with the setting up everything and what's left is some small tweaks now when you look here it says docked high in vulcan so um for performance just change this to handheld and the high set it to normal and with the vulcan please just let it be Vulkan. Don't change this thing because Vulkan plays important roles when gaming on em emulators like this. So you will set it to Vulkan and then um, head over to emulations and configure. Um, so you can configure the emulator to your liking. So um, with the controller settings, you have to, you just need to insert your controller into it wait let me let me insert in my controller Okay, so I just insert in my controller. So let me guide you into the setting up of the controller. So um, I have Xbox 360 controller, so it's showing as this. So you need to, when you insert in your controller, your controller will show over here. So you, you need to select that your controller. So in this manner, I have Xbox 360 controller. I will select it and then um the note again so after you done selecting your controller it will automatically set it up for you i mean it will automatically map the controller onto your controller so um i think it has set it up for me automatically yeah so meaning everything is working now with the graphics set settings api vulcan vulcan is recommended and i have intel hd graphics 530 so if you have external gpu you set it to your external gpu so i think that is all for today but please i think most of the views that are in my channel are from non-subscribers 
so please if you really like this video kindly subscribe to my channel because you subscribing to the channel encourage me to do more videos like this so please don't just watch the video subscribe to the channel like share and then comment thank you let's meet again